The market for lab-grown diamonds is exploding this wedding season, putting sparkling gems on more hands than ever. But some say that shine wears off and synthetic stones quickly lose their value. Bradley Blackburn has more on the debate. The largest jeweler in the world is well known for its charms, but now Pandora is very much in the diamond business. This is the centerpiece for your yes. line. Yes. North American president Luciano Rodenbush showed us the gems they started selling last year. This is below $2,000. At prices they say make sense for their slice of the jewelry market. Ours were going to be one fifth to one seventh of the price. That's because these diamonds were grown in a lab, not mined from the ground. With improved technology, manufacturing costs have fallen near rock bottom. What we're seeing a lot is people that always dreamed but never had the chance to buy a diamond. Now they can. According to The Knot, the popularity of lab-grown diamonds has doubled in the last two years. In 2022, more than a third of engagement ring center stones were manufactured, not mined. The diamonds are visually and chemically the same, but Olivia Landau says there are key differences. Her custom jewelry company, The Clear Cut, sells only natural diamonds. Lab-grown diamonds hold zero value. They're kind of the fast fashion of diamonds, whereas Natural diamonds do hold inherent value. They can be passed down from generation to generation. In fact, customers who buy her natural diamonds also get a lab diamond for free to wear when more expensive bling is stored away. If you want to go lab or if you want to go natural, it's a personal decision. Just know the value and what you're getting for it and be happy with that. Either way, the true value of the ring is the story behind it. It symbolizes their commitment, next step in the rest of their lives. Everybody that comes to this place is celebrating something. That is forever, no matter where the diamond comes from. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York.